This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits. This is accessible through our online course modules that can be accessed at www.emergencymedicalminute.org backslash CME-courses, or simply by clicking on the link in our show notes and creating an account. So um, this is a medical minute that I actually was kind of looking to do at some point, but it put it off, and now there's a patient that kind of triggered this, so I might as well talk about it. So there's a patient uh, here who basically was sent in for an olecranon bursitis, and they recommended getting it drained. So, you know, olecranon bursitis is inflammation with some fluid in the uh, bursa. The olecranon bursa is the one specifically behind your elbow. You can get bursitis kind of of any joint. The common ones are your prepatellar bursitis, people that kind of work on their knees a lot, like carpet layers, can get inflammation in there and you get red, painful swelling in front of your knee joint, but it can also happen with the elbow. Bursitis can be traumatic, you know, from irritation, like we said, or it can be an infection. And the question comes up, you know, do we need to drain these or should we drain them? And sometimes it makes sense, you know, if there's fluid somewhere, stick a needle in it, get the fluid out. Uh, what could be the problem with that? Well, the problem with uh, bursitis, especially sometimes the olecranon bursa, is you can form a chronic non-healing wound there. The elbow, you can think of, you know, there's very thin thin skin behind your elbow. And if you've got like an inflamed bursa there and you drain it, some studies have shown that up to 50% of people will have the non-healing kind of fistulous wound there that keeps draining and draining. Um, so that might not be ideal. But the question is, do you need to drain them? So there was a study recently that looked at patients with specifically olecranon bursitis that was thought to be infectious. And they looked at you know, how many of them just got antibiotics and did fine. And it was pretty impressive. Like 90% of the patients just got antibiotics and were discharged and did totally fine, didn't need anything else. Some of them, like about 5% did eventually need a drainage, like if they weren't getting better, if they were getting worse. But even the patients that got admitted because their olecranon bursitis was so impressive, only about 10% of those ever needed a drainage. So it does seem like most of the time, you probably can treat olecranon bursitis with just antibiotics, despite kind of our desires in the emergency department to just stick needles in things and drain them as much as possible. Sometimes it might not be the best thing, sometimes it's not necessary. Any questions, comments? All right, thanks guys. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.